Come on, man. Stop doing that crap. Look, guys. In this video, I'm just annoying the hell out of my haters. First of all, I accept the fact I'm ugly. I'm ugly. My last name is Lee. I can't help it. I'm a black Chinese man. And I'm married to a Mexican girl. And my kids are black Mexicans. I'm all screwed up. My haters told me that. <laughs> now listen to me. This is the hater series. You can't help it. You just can't help it, guys. You can't fix Hayden. You can't... Do You see, Hayden... Haters have a new name. They call themselves critics. The dictionary calls them hypocrites. The hypocrites have a new terms. Words that they use like envious or jealous. Cut the crap. They're haters with their hateristic ways. You can't stop it. You can't fix it. Jesus was here. If for some of you in different religion, your gods were there. And there are some haters hating them or hating him. What did these gods do? Or did when the hating start? Well, they say Jesus went into the temple and started beat some folks out. <laughs> the Messiah did that. Look. When you see your haters, you fix your eyebrows. Instead of feeling intimidated, fix your collar. Look good, stay healthy, and stay smart. You can always have haters. For me, if it's not a coach, it's a soccer player. If it's not a soccer player, it is just someone just hate me for my knowledge. Well, I'm not going to be mad at them, man. You see, when I see them hating, that means I'm doing something right. I'm growing and I'm learning. Back in my army days, the army taught me a lot of stuff about being in charge and about respecting and about if no one respect you, you still respect them, but you must respect the respect that they give you and treat them the way they want to be treated or you want to be treated. So if they are not treating the way you want to be treated, you can't treat them nice. Hayden is in soccer. Since we're talking about this in soccer, Football for you guys and or for you homeboys in Europe and for you niggas in the ghettos. Yeah, I said it. You niggas in the ghettos. It's called football. Sometimes when you remember back in the days when you used to roll the ball with just socks on the streets. Some of you boys out there don't know anything about that. You guys got pretty cleats right now. I remember back in the days, man. It was horrible. Yeah, horrible. Black and white TV. Big tube. Used to have this little... Some of you guys don't even know what I'm talking about there. You guys got iPads. You guys got have. You could just watch these games on the phone. I remember times when you used to see guys showing up. If you want, don't believe me. Go watch on YouTube some of the Pele in the 1960s or... You used to see black and white. They wasn't that darn TV weren't showing good. You to hit the TV. Boom, 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 boom. When you remember those days. When well, the first time color TV came out back in the 70s in the World Cup. It was amazing. You watched Pele on uh, it was just amazing. You used to watch Pele and getting cut down in black and white. Back in those days, some fouls. Those guys would get banned for three weeks. Or a month or a year. When Pele was playing ball back in those days, they would foul Pele like all 97 times in one game. 
And those days, red card wasn't just issued out unless you broke the guy's leg. You hear me? Back in those days, red card was only issued when you broke somebody's leg. <laughs> you get elbow in the face. You get pushed. Guys could hold you back in the days, what I'm talking about. You're running with the ball. Somebody hold you. Right? And literally hold you with your jersey. And nothing happened. You could get your jersey toward and nothing happened. The guy wouldn't get a card. You just had to go off and change your jersey. It's crazy. Now, when you when, when you think about it now, how you young guys out, out there have all these lugs. We ain't on you young guys. We happy. We saw you guys make some new contribution to the game. And we, we're, we old timers are loving it. You see... I know you guys think I'm in my 20s or in my 80s or something like that. I'm not. I'm a whole dinosaur. Been around the block. So some of my haters know that. They know that they can't talk to me. Because I don't listen to their garbage that they're trying to tell me. I don't use YouTube. Because my website. I don't ride in YouTube's vehicle. And then when YouTube close your account... You don't have your own vehicle. So they are mad at me. They try to get me banned on YouTube. But they can't get me banned on my website. Because the army taught you to be in charge of your shit. When you're on YouTube, you do what the hell you want. No. You gotta follow YouTube rules. You don't behave right. What happens? You get your account deleted. And you don't even have to do anything. You have some haters just coming on YouTube. Flagging your video. Copywriting. Because they believe that if a few people hear your message, it's better for them. One less nigga on the tube. Or one less another nigga bites the dust. When I use the term nigga guy, don't get don't think I'm using the derogatory. When you call uh, a black man, yo nigga! He knows you're being disrespectful. <laughs> but when you call a black man, hey, what's up, my nigga? How you doing? He knows that you're being, trying to be a homie. But when you, yo, 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 nigga! He knows you're being disrespectful. <laughs> what's up, my nigga? How we doing it today? I heard me, this white boy, call me. Hey, what's up, homie? I said, what's up, player? How you doing? What's up, my nigga? And I say, yo, dog, give me a dap, yo. I say, yeah. Welcome to the family. Black folks are not all that evil, man. You, 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 you're cool, you act right, and you, you know the flex. If you're a white boy and you watch my videos, I'm trying to teach you also on, a, on another level how to survive among some brothers. They love you, man. Some of the brothers love you. Don't think all the brothers hate you. The brothers love the white boys, man. We love you in the sense that we we'll respect you for trying to hang around us and not being so squared, you know? So when we see you coming and you're trying to be a, a cool homie, we welcome you to the fold. We try to protect you and try to teach you the, you know, the swagger thing, you know? But some other black guys will teach you some crazy shit, you know? I mean, that you don't need to know, you understand? It'll get you in trouble. So I'll be straight up with you. And you got some white folks who will teach you some crazy stuff and you're wearing sheets with two eyes and you're like, some some bullshit. I don't know. I'm a Santa Claus. K K K K Claus. You get it? <laughs> Anyhow, but some guys out there are cool. But anywhere you go, you always have to deal with hating. Do not let it hurt you in your jobs. Either it's ugly Jeff or bad Brett Peter. Or, what I'm saying to you is, when you find yourself in a situation like this with guys who are just talking, hating and do this, you, you need to fix certain things. You don't go where they play and set yourself up, set up a trap for yourself. Go into their tournaments. When you know that there is a tournament, you show up there. They hate you so much, man. Oh, boy. Don't worry about them. You see, when you know you are skillful at your craft, 
you can do stuff like what I'm doing right here. You see like what I'm doing? I'm not doing this for you, right? You are a viewer of my channel, it's cool. But I'm doing some of these things for my haters. It looks narcissistic, right? Yeah. But to them, it's, oh, they, oh, oh, I hate that guy. I want to, oh, 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 oh. And then when they come on the soccer field, all the anger show up. And that's all I need. One ounce of anger on the soccer field from them. And then I can trick them easy. Easy. Once I get my opponents angry, he's not thinking. And I can solid him. I can trick him effortlessly. Effortlessly. I don't have to worry about... That's why I message trick these guys easy. With angles and dribbling. With speed. That's it. That's all messy all day. Angles and speed. Angles and speed. That's messy. And a powerful left foot. Angles and speed. That's messy all day. And all those haters who hate him, trying to hurt him, all Messi does, push the ball, cut it, push the ball, cut it, all day. It's me, your man, Uncle D. This video is getting too long. I don't want to bore you. So, <laughs> hater. Happy New Year's. Happy 2015. We have a long year ahead of us. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. For some of you guys who want to be good at, real quick, be true to the game, and the game will be true to you. And don't let these guys tell you what to do. It's me, your man, Uncle D. I'm saying, good talking to you. If you don't hear from me for the next few more videos, hey, YouTube is just not my thing. Peace out.